The CD-ROM in this Xbox of mine has finally taken The laser is not working anymore. It keeps giving me an unreadable error on all discs, doesn't matter which. So today I'm going to show you how to replace it. You do have to have the identical drive. Make sure it's your same same drive as what's in your Xbox now, uh, whether it be Hitachi or, or whatever, in this case, a Samsung drive. Now, for the drive to work in the Xbox, there's a ID number that's associated with the Xbox and the drive. Now, there's ways of flashing your drive to get that number into your new drive. I'm not going to go into that. The easiest way to do it is to just take the logic board out of the drive that's in the Xbox and replace it with the one in the new CD-ROM drive. And that'll get bypass all the problems of having to flash a drive, which could destroy the drive that you're trying to flash anyway. and just it's just easier to change it this way. Okay, I'm not going to explain how to get the drive out. I've done that in my other videos. What you want to do first off is you want to remove your, your chrome tray, the fa face off your tray, off your original one. <clears throat> That's just a matter of popping it off the front. There's two little tabs on the bottom that release. And voila, it's off. Then you want to take your screwdriver and you remove your four screws. Left Grand Theft Auto in there. Alright, now on the bottom there's a little black tab right here. You don't want to push that tab away from the board so it's not locking it into place. And then the board should just raise up. You gotta kind of lift it out a little funky. Now there's a ribbon cable on the back of the laser. You want to pull that out. That should just pull straight out. You don't want to destroy it. They just pull straight out. It's easier to get out than it is to put in. I assure you. <laughs> Same thing with all the other cables. They just pull straight out. It's dust free inside of that. That bottom came off a lot easier than the old one. And same thing, a little black tab. And then you gotta pull the board, just pull it out away from the. There's a little notch here in the back that locks into the black plastic. And then just remove your ribbon cables. Now these ribbon cables, they literally do just push right back in. It may take a little bit of force to get it in. I've never had too many problems with them. Just kind of shimmy them a little bit and they'll, they'll slide back in place. Make sure you're straight in there. You don't want to make cross contact with it. Make sure that's straight in there. Same thing with the rest of your the rest of your cables you want to make sure they're straight back in but that's pretty much it it's back in there you just reverse the steps put it back in and put it back together make sure you get it on the right way you don't want to put it on backwards Put all your screws back in. And just put your chrome piece back on the front there. Just slides down on. There's little grooves in the plastic. Just... That's it. It's back on, back together. We'll put that into the Xbox and start her up. And I guarantee it'll work a lot better than the original one did. Alright, we got our Xbox here. We're going to give it a shot. See if it, uh, wants to work this time. It's got to work better than it used to. It wasn't working at all. Oh, ta-da! Top of I turn the TV up, maybe you could hear it.
there it is just like brand new now I can put it back together and it's like having a brand new Xbox all over again